Okay, yeah. so the first one we said obviously on the left hand yeah. side here. Now setup wise is good, I think you stand the ball nicely, yeah. the posh is good, your feet position are nicely sort of not yeah. turned out too much, so we can move the body effectively now and just allowing the lower half to stabilize. And if we look at these back swings, it's mainly more in the initial takeaway where you sort of lose in balance. You see the club going back yeah. just to sort of point to the camera, there's a gap there between your knees. Whereas this yeah. one here now, you can see as the club starts going back there. Better. Much more stable, okay? You're much more stable in terms of position. You're keeping your posture. If you see if your knee starts going forward, as your knee goes down, your spine yeah, will start yeah, dropping, yeah, yeah. and things will then start sort of going too far around on the inside if you're not careful. So that, that halfway back position now, there's quite a big gap there between your legs. You look there now, it's much better than it, okay? okay? Same good posture, same good swing plane going back, okay. but now your lower half is stabilising the swing. Is that, is that swing plane sometimes a bit off, is it? It, it I mean, again, it fluctuates sort of from where you are there. I mean, it, it doesn't really, it probably go, when, we, when we're talking fluctuate, we're talking... Not, not too bad. Like that much. It's, it's not, it's not, for me, the swing plane isn't the issue, no. I think the issue is when you get to the top of the back swing is stability and how then your body kind of reacts to sort of stay upright. If the lower half has lost its stability there and the club then gets a bit across the line, like I say, with the gap there between your lower half being so great, that, to me, Different position altogether, isn't it? Yeah, it's better. Okay, so there's, there's going to be a gap. That's a, not a problem. Okay, the gap is going to be there all the time. Yeah. I wouldn't say you're going to completely limit that, but that gap is smaller than what you were when you were kind of so halfway back there. Straight, but yeah, exactly. It's not going to be completely locked. Uh, not moving. The left foot, left leg has to move. Yeah. Otherwise, right, you right. can't get okay. yourself to the top of the back. Thing, okay, but as you start bringing the golf club down, no, sorry. you start bringing the golf club back down now. Okay, same good angle coming back in the golf ball. Good clean strike, and then we can release through to balance. And, and you can I, see I, I, there. Sorry, my shoulders are taking okay as well. Yeah, fine. Actually, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you go through the ball there now, clubs start coming back down. You can see through there. Yeah, the, your hands, well, the hands are sort of rotating, which they should do. Okay, from there, that's keeping the angle on the yeah. on the club nice. So you're keeping and maintaining the pass. It's a good position there. Left arm nice and parallel to the ground there. Club right. passes. The club angle is good as you're coming in. Coming back to the golf ball. Nothing to worry about Not at all. That's a good. And again, coming to the golf ball there. That's a good hitting position so there now. So my indicators now are, so feet line and cot, club yeah. line you have to worry. Yeah, exactly. Stability. I think for me it's the stability in the, in the lower half. And when you do it properly, if you watch the swing through to sort of completion, as you swing through, yeah. you look pretty balanced. And even after the shot there, there's a little step, but that ball's gone. I mean, you struck that golf ball at less than three, it was two and a half seconds, it was two and a half seconds when you made contact. So 2.79, yeah. and then your foot then sort of just yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's as you say. It's four seconds, so another second and a half after impact, which is a long time. That ball's Gone. almost landed. It's yeah. getting to the peak of its flight that sort of time. So, if you've got that issue there, but when you were going back as far here as you were, and the big gap between, yeah. again, with the club, yeah. this is for me where the club going across the line there, it will generally bring the club too far on the inside. Yeah. So, that can create the big hook yeah. or hitting the ground behind the goal because okay. your circle just bottoms out a little bit early on the way down, you see. So, if we can get the lower half quieter. A little bit less, okay. less movement early. Just keeps your balance a bit longer. Cool. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. yeah. Right, so a couple more, then we'll finish off. Then we're some of them. Okay.